Hey everybody, welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today we're doing some DIY projects and I'm really, really, really excited about this because it's going to end up saving a lot of money. Uh, what we're doing is, anybody that's watched my videos knows that I love the Arctic tank. I really do for everything that's 100 watt and under. Uh, it's very affordable, but you can spend a lot of money if you're buying uh, coil packs. So, I found something really cool. Um, there's, there's a reason why I stay away from most RBAs that like, uh, you know, or stuff, the do-it-yourself stuff, like my mutation sitting right back over here. Because you always have to take it off and put some drops in there, uh, you know, every three or four good, good tokes on it. And so it doesn't make it very practical when I travel. Um, and I, I get tired of taking off the top and, you know, and, and putting in some juice. So, uh, I found something on the market and I am so excited about it. Uh, for the Arctic tank, I usually run a .2 or a .5 depending on the juice. And a typical little coil looks like this. You have your wick right there on the side and you can easily see that there's cotton in there along with the coil upright. So we have an alternative that is just, I'm so excited, it's going to last you a long time. All you really got to do, if you switch flavors, you just take it off. I'll show you right here. You can see down in there my coil that I built. All right. And it looks like that. It is exactly made for the Arctic tank. See? Here, let me get over to this one right here. See? And you can see my coil right there that I built. And all you do is you just put this on over it and you simply lock it into place. You take your tank, right? And all you let's let's leave that one there. Here you go. I have one taken apart just just for this purpose. So you you have your tank, right? So where you'd normally put your uh, your normal coils that you'd buy, you put it in there the same same way. See now you can see down into my coil. I mean I'm sorry my coil. Duh. Um, okay, so that right there, I just did that for you guys to show you what it's all about. Um, it's an RBA, so you can convert your normal Arctic tank to an RBA, and you don't have to sit there and use the dropper and, uh, you, you know, every three, four good, good tokes on it. You don't need to do that. If you want to switch flavor, rinse it off. Some new cotton, right? some good stuff and in order to save time here's my my uh, meter and I have this in another tank and I'm going for a point five and I'm also building another coil a twisted Clapton and uh, it's really small to get up there and this one's gonna be a point two and this one here I just want to get to a, a about a point five so we can vape so let's go ahead and turn it on and you can see it's a point five six. All right, not bad. I'll take that. So you see, we have the tank right here, just like I showed you, huh? Put that back. And this one here, I've already built the wick and everything in there. As you can see, the cotton's right there, very much the same. Yep. Now you can look down in there, and you can actually see. The cotton in there and I, I've got it right there to come out and it looks really similar to the normal coil see it's got the wick ah, there we go I'll get it down sometime 
So it's just a little fatter, but that's okay, so you can take it off. You don't have to sit there with the dropper. You, you just build the coil, and uh, we're going to go ahead and put it in. This one's got the cotton in it. So we're going to go ahead and fill this up. Let's see what juice we want to use. Ah, no me's. Trolling, no me's. Check out what that dude looks like. So what I'm going to do now, like any other coil, is we're going to go ahead and drop a few drops just to get it primed and ready. Remember what I said, you don't need to... The, the only time you need to put some drops on is really when you're when you're uh, priming it up the first time. And uh, I think that's about it because unlike normal, like the mutations and stuff like that, because the coil sits down where the normal coil would be, your RBA that you just built, the tank, the juice, like the normal flow, comes down and it'll hit the, the cotton in there. So you don't need to take it off and keep doing the droppers. I only do that initially like you would do any other tank is so that we can prime the coil first. So we're going to go ahead and uh, fill up the tank with the Nomis. Meanwhile back at the ranch that cotton over there is getting primed up so we reduce the, uh, the uh, possibility of getting dry hits. Nobody likes them. And by the way like I said before you want to change flavors and, and sometimes we don't do that because we don't have any more coils on hand. With this one, you can absolutely do it. You just go rinse it off and put another piece of cotton in there and guess what? You're on to the next, uh, you're on to the next uh, juice. Same tank. And in the long run, it's a lot cheaper. Even though the Arctic tank is one of the cheaper uh, coils on the market, it's very popular. Um, still, this will last a long time as long as you take care of it. Uh, and like I said, I've also built the point two twisted uh, Clapton right there, twisted pair. All right, so we've got that going right here, rocking and rolling. And I think what we'll do is we will break out. The Cherry Bomber for the win! So let's go ahead and get it on there. By the way, I have a second one. I haven't put the cotton in, but I have a second one right there ready to go. I have like five or six Arctic tanks. Um, whether they be the uh, actual authentic or the clones because I found that the clones are pretty pretty right on I haven't had any trouble with them but I save a lot of money and we all like to save some money so I'm gonna take a good a good couple of suctions off this just to pull it through alright well now we're gonna go ahead and just uh, let it hit for a minute you can hear that Oh wow, tell you what, the flavor is just awesome. Wow, this is really good. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, really. Uh, I want to get that twisted pear clapped in on this one here so I can get it down to a point two. Uh, as you can see, all my coil making tools down here. I forgot that I have the second camera down here, so I, I don't need to pick things up and get them to you. Um, well, I've already reviewed the Nomi's Trolling Juice, and it is absolutely great. Um, I'm not noticing, like, any difference. No cons about this right now. Uh, it tastes good. It's actually a little more, uh, the taste is a little more... Um, 
it's a little more concentrated because of the way it's burning but as you can see it, the coil the the wick is again just a little fatter around here but there's absolutely no difference except that it is burning a little bit better and so the taste is coming through not really a difference at all in the coil uh, that we built so you can convert your arctic tank to an RBA and guess what you don't have to pull the the top of the tank off like you do with the mutations and other other uh, do-it-yourself tanks so all you got to do is just fill the tank and the tank gravity will supply the coil and again if you want to change flavors you just simply pull that coil out put a new piece of cotton in there uh, of course rinse it off but put a new piece of cotton in there and fill it up with another juice you know and that way you won't have any issues switching flavors and because we all or some of us I guess I don't want to put everybody in the same boat uh, we don't want to waste coils so we end up having a lot of different tanks and because we don't want to, to ruin the coil by putting another flavor in there unless you don't mind that kind of thing because uh, you can go through coils pretty quick um, so wow I am uh, very impressed so you can convert your arctic tank there you go you can convert your arctic tank to a sub ohm there you go to a sub ohm uh, RBA and it's uh, it's very easy and you just put it in here and I can do a point two on this one right here as I've, I've mentioned earlier I've got that coil working right now um, let me get this secured on here boom just that easy you can see the little clasp you just put it in ah I forgot I mean I'm just raising stuff up and I can't get stuff on camera so just shoot me bow, bow. Uh, I'll just leave stuff down here because we got a good picture here uh, I'll probably end up adding a little more to it but anyway back to it uh, the arctic tank conversion to an RBA do it yourself easy peasy nothing to it so having said all that uh, I bid you farewell until we make another video here on the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm Chef Andy. By the way, please like and subscribe. Uh, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, and I thank you for watching our videos. I hope that uh, we bring some knowledge to the table. If you have any suggestions, any input, by all means, I'm easy to get a hold of or put your comments below the video. Uh, I welcome the interaction. Uh, both from you guys and, and vice versa. That's the way we learn uh, through our personal experiences. So having said all of that, later.